Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm out in Kimber Camp again, and as you can see, there's no more snow here in Denmark. It melted a couple of days after it came, and uh, now we have uh, fine weather with uh, temperatures almost about 10 degrees Celsius. But today I'm out making a video uh, to celebrate the winter solstice. Now the sun is turning again, and it will be brighter uh, day for day, and uh, I'm looking very much forward to that. So yeah, and uh, of course I have some. Uh, food I'll prepare out here, something special, uh, something that the Viking definitely could have eaten uh, in the Viking age. So uh, yeah, I have Cornelius with me, he's out <laughs> in the forest, I have to call him back, but uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be a short video, now I'm going to prepare my food and then I uh, have a little sun wheel that I will uh, light up and uh, burn uh, together with some torches I made. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this little video and uh, I'm glad you joined us in the uh, Kimber Camp again. Yeah, and the special uh, dinner I'm going to serve tonight for Cornelius and me, it is blood sausage. Uh, I think it tastes delicious. My wife and children doesn't like it, but for me it's perfect. And, uh, and to celebrate the winter solstice is a perfect Ooh. way with a little bit of blood sausage. So yeah, now I have to um, put my pan over here, yeah, yeah, and I didn't bring much light with me, so perhaps it's going to be a little bit dark, but I hope you find it cozy. First I'll take some butter on. Something Cornelius is very fond of. Yeah. And then I just place these blood sausage over the fire here. Perhaps one more or two. If I can't eat them, I'm sure the fox will. And uh, hopefully Cornelius also find it delicious. So yeah. Yeah, and while the, the sausage is uh, cooking, I have a beer here. I would like to share with you guys. Yeah, it's a Christmas beer. Don't know if you can see it, but it's a Christmas beer from Jakobsen Brookhus Brewery. So uh, yeah, and of course I have my drinking horn. Oh yeah. Skål and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Skål and welcome to Kimber Camp. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed my little video uh, with my little model of my Viking longhouse. 
it took me some while to uh, to make it, but it was worth it. And actually, I'm uh, starting a little project, new project. I'm going to make a little model of Kimber Camp here, yeah. And as you can see in this footage, uh, yeah, I made some uh, progress, and uh, now I just have to uh, find a way to make the roof and so on. I have some details inside I still miss. Uh, I haven't done yet, but uh, I enjoy making this uh, little project, and I'm not going to make a DIY video about it. Uh, so, um, but when it's finished, I'll show you uh, the final result. Yeah. Mm. Now I think it's time for turning the sausages. Yeah. And you just have to fry them. That's all on both sides. And uh, yeah, it doesn't taste of blood or anything. It's a very special taste. If you haven't tasted, you should try it. Perhaps you like it too. Mmm. Yeah. Looking delicious. And as you saw in the beginning, I've been invaded by a lot of Nissa. And uh, Nissa is a very special thing here in Scandinavia. Uh, much of our uh, Yule or Christmas tradition uh, involves some kind of Nissa. And I made a video uh, some years ago where I talk about uh, Nissa. Uh, and uh, you can see here, I put a link in, uh, in my video description if you want, want to um, find out more about Nissa and what the meaning is of uh, having Nessa around the house. They are here in uh, Kimber Camp today, together with me, and it's very cozy to be out here together with Cornelius and, uh, and you folks and my little Nessa parade here. Yeah. Now I think it's almost done here, I think. Yeah. Just put some more firewood on. We can eat. What do you say, Cornelius? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah. I'm sure he liked this because he's very curious about the things I'm doing, and uh, he actually licked my little board here. So I'm putting it over there, my little uh, blood sausage, and then I'll give him some on this one. Is that okay, Cornelius? Yeah, yeah. One for you, Cornelius, and two for me. And maybe I'll I'll take three here, and these three can stay on a little while. And this one I have to cool off before Cornelius can eat it. But the thing is. On this um, blood sausage, you need some honey or syrup if you can only get that. But this is very delicious. Yeah, I'll bring you a little bit closer. As you can see here with syrup on or honey. Yeah, and then you just cut them out in the small pieces and eat them like this. Yeah, I can't see anything. Mmm, too dark out here. Yeah. I only get this once a year at Christmas. Uh, it's a Christmas tradition, but I could definitely eat it all year. So you see if it's cold enough for you. Oh yeah. Hmm? It's good. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. 
more. Cornelius, approves. Let's see if I can get this fire going again. Good one, I guess. Ooh, one more. Yes. And then I just take the last three. One for him. Two for me. Oh yeah. a little bit of honey on. stuff here yeah <laughs> yeah so nice I think I see I have this little ball with me today somewhere here it is Put it over here, and then you can eat it when it's cool off. You have to wait because it's still hot. This new one. Yeah. You have to wait. Okay. Still too hot. Still too hot. Yeah. We also have um, Christmas beer in your country. Um, in Denmark, we have a tradition to make beer, Christmas beer, and it's a little bit more sweet than usual. And they come some uh, herbs in that, uh, so it tastes a little bit like Christmas, perhaps cinnamon and so on. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. And you can only uh, buy these uh, up to Christmas. Can we see? Put it there. Well, we can see if there's something. Yeah. There's no doubt that he likes it. Hmm. And he got Cornelius. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Wow. So tasty. Then I think we'll light up the darkness.
give it a little time and I'm sure it will be burning. I think it's time for putting over some coffee. Oh God, can you just be here, us? You mustn't run away. It's dark out there. And there are foxes and all kind of animals up here. Yeah. Harvest beast. You know, eating all that, including my with uh, honey on. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's coffee time, Cornelius. Let's have some water. See here to you, Cornelius? Yeah. Yeah. So dirty. So dirty. Yeah. I just have to put some the sun will just fall down. It's not uh, as good as last year. It burned much better and for much longer, but that's okay. Now we can start looking at spring and uh, lighter evenings and so on. Yeah, we enjoy that very really much. Ooh, hmm? ready? And add a bit of salt in. Yep. 
and then we just have to to boil heat up Getting there. Yeah, it's boiling. I'll take it up a little bit. Yeah. I mustn't forget my little cup. Little wrists. Yeah. Yeah, and I brought the last bit of uh, this wonderful little ram from the Netherlands that is perfect to the coffee. Yeah, so Merry Yule, everybody, and I love her. And I got a lot of uh, videos about uh, Christmas Yule here in Scandinavia. Uh, if I remember it, I'll put links to all my videos that talks about Nissa and uh, Christmas uh, goats and so on. Uh, tradition we have here in Denmark. Yeah. Happy Yule. Merry Yule. Glædelig Yule, as we say in Denmark. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll be a little short video out here from Kimber Camp, but that's okay. It's been my last video this year, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad to see you here again in Kimber Camp and uh, hope you like my little model of the Kimber Camp. I still have some things to do, but I'm looking forward to uh, having it finished so I can show it to you. Yeah. Thank you for watching Kimber Bushcraft. We really appreciate that. Come, Cornelius. Yeah. Yeah. And then we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye Cornelius. Say hello to all your friends.
yeah, you have a lot of friends out there. Bye bye. Go Yule. Merry Yule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good food today. Blood sausage.